Welcome to Pirate King. I'm Daniel, a software engineer at Microsoft, ex-software engineer at Amazon and eBay, and also a software engineering mentor at two educational startups. It's been about a month since the release of the video, my productivity couch setup, and about two months since the release of a day in the life of a software engineer working from home. Just like the productivity couch setup, a number of people have been asking me whether I can share my gaming bed setup. Although I hardly have the time to play any games nowadays thanks to YouTube, here they are. My gaming setup in 2007, 2014, and finally 2021. I'm going to talk about the gaming bed setup in the following order. One, why I thought of this setup. Two, the essential gears. Three, the nice to haves. Lastly, four, the pros and cons of the setup. Enough talking, wanna see what it looks like? Well, let's find out. Welcome to my bed. Room, bedroom, bed, bedroom. So first off, some of you have mistaken the screen on the ceiling as a TV on the ceiling. But no, as you can see, there's no TV on my ceiling. It's a projector projecting onto the ceiling. Secondly, many people were worried that my monitor is going to fall and smash my face from my couch setup. Well, I guess it's safer this time since my ceiling is not gonna fall, right? Enough chit chat. Let's start with a question. Why do I play games like this? Well, isn't it obvious by now? It's cause it's comfy. Duh. And hey, the entire ceiling's your screen. I'm sure many of you have tried projecting to a wall before. Then why not a ceiling? Aren't they the same shit? I mean, they both look like dull, white, plain, flat surfaces to me. But what do you think is the more comfy posture here? These? or this. Yeah, so let's first talk about the gears. Let's start with the needs, the essentials. The first thing you need is a projector. Unless you're seriously going to install a TV on your ceiling, a projector can do the magic for you. To be honest here, any projector works as long as you can plug your gaming consoles and tilt it at the right angle to shoot the ceiling. Oh, but it does help if it can flip and reverse the projection and has an adjustable foot. More on those coming up. In case you still need help in choosing one, here's my projector. Amazon affiliate links in the description below. I actually bought a new one because I really can't recommend the one I used in the video. This one's $130. It's full HD, meaning 1080p, but it supports 4K and sizes up to 350 inches. I spent a fair amount of time shopping and choosing the right projector because I wanted something that's both affordable and and makes sense for gaming. Meaning, you don't want to play games in 720p resolution because the native 4K projectors are out of budget. If you want to play in 4K, just do it with your TV. In my experience, 1080p is sufficient. You're sacrificing high quality graphics for high quality comfiness. It's all about chill and relax. I mean, if you're a serious gamer, you shouldn't be playing games lying down in the first place, right? Another important feature in choosing a projector is, like I mentioned earlier, the ability to flip or reverse the screen projection. If you can place your projector on top of your head like this, then you don't need such a thing. But if not, and you have to place it across your bed, like my current setup, then this feature really helps a lot because you can adjust the screen direction with a click of a button. Another key thing to look for is the adjustable foot because you can unscrew the foot and mount it to your camera or phone tripod. Just like how it's done in the video. The second thing you need is a bed. Well, this is a gaming bed setup. Third, a gaming console. We're here to play games. And finally, a ceiling obviously. And that's it. That's all you need. So those are the needs. What about the ones though? The nice to haves. The first nice to have is a smart light switch integrated with a smart assistant. Alexa, bedroom on. Alexa, bedroom off. Now I categorize it as a nice to have, but I honestly think it's a must. Let me illustrate my point here with these two scenarios. First, when you use the normal manual light switch. Honey, get some fresh air. Okay, okay. Ah, oh, jeez. But what if you have the smart light switch? Honey, 
dinner is ready. I'll be right there. Alexa, bedroom off. The second nice to have is a blackout curtain. Now, I don't have one now, but I know this is crucial because I had one in my 2014 setup. You see, the thing about projectors is that it works the best when everything's dark. It might be a little difficult to see the projected screen during the day, especially with all the sunlight coming in. The third nice to have is a camera tripod. Again, if you have a projector with an adjustable foot, you can unscrew it, mount it on a tripod, and adjust the angle however you like it. The fourth nice to have is a phone holder. If you have one of those small minuscule projectors, try holding them using these phone holders as I have done in the 2014 setup. Again, check out the descriptions below for the links to the products. Now, let's quickly talk about the pros and cons of this setup. Let's start with the pros. One, it's comfy. Honestly, this is the best part of the setup. It's so comfortable. If you play Nintendo Switch with the setup, you can even position your arms however you like, whereas you would have to kind of put the controller on your belly for other traditional controllers. Two, you can play games on a bigger screen. If you have a small TV, this is one way to enjoy on a larger screen. Three, it's a great way to watch a movie too. Four, you can naturally fall asleep. Now the cons. One, you get sleepy easily. Two, you have to find a way to darken your room for the best gaming experience. Three, you might have to wear glasses if you don't have good eyesight since the screen's further away. Four, it's not exactly pretty, but does it need to be? Five, it's not for serious gamers as I've mentioned earlier. Again, the whole purpose of this setup is to chill and relax. Play games like Final Fantasy, Zelda, Pokemon, or Animal Crossing. You know, the ones you can afford to play while falling asleep. For that reason, you probably don't want to play PC games like this. I mean, where are you going to put your mouse? Play LOL like this and I guarantee that you'll be banned in 5 minutes. Alright, so we've taken a look at my gaming bed setup. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Join my Discord server and show off your own setups. Will you be giving a shot at the gaming bed setup? Or do you already even have your own couch setup? Join my server and share the fun. Seriously, brag about it and let us take a look at it. But most importantly, make sure to stand and move around often. Lying down or not moving at all for a long time is bad for your health. Lastly, if you haven't subscribed yet, hop on board. I invite you to be our next Nakama. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.